What is up, dudes? It's Jeremy. Back to Darksiders 2. In uh, the beginning, death sought the crow farmer. It's been uh, like a few but days since I've played this, more. so I don't know like when a the, re the videos are releasing. So we're just going to do the, the story thus far, and then we'll get into the episode. Darksiders 2. First of all, dudes, let me know if you're enjoying Darksiders War Master Edition or Darksiders Definitive Edition more. Because with this one, this is my first time playing for uh, Darksiders 1. It's my second time playing. It's very different. Like, it's a very different feeling. Um, yeah, I have playing each. It's very, like, it's cool. It's cool to play this one for the first time and that one for the second time because I can kind of compare, like, uh, which one do I ramble on more about dumb shit? Which more do I talk about this or that or whatever? Which one do I actually seem like I know how to play the game? Because I think a lot of times I get self-conscious because I'm playing a game for the first time and I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm like, wow. So uh, another thing that I am like trying to introduce, and I talked about this in my other video, is uh, I want to I incorporate Skull Dude more. So I think I'm going to have him like pop up you know, in one of the corners and just kind of like maybe he'll give a tip or like a tidbit that I missed while I was playing or just whatever. Maybe he'll just say some smart ass, smart -ass comment. But uh, I just thought that would be fun to like well, add him into the video as well. This can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out Ooh, this guy's massive sister. beard. Massive, her massive her beard. That is a lifetime mountain. beard right there. Help her and she will help you reach the tree. As for me, I must return to my work. Are you not <coughs> curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four, but yes. Tell me. I'm curious what like the actual hierarchy is because to redeem war. Heaven and hell the, battle upon the shadow. The way that some people talk about the four horsemen, it's like they are trembles almost above everybody else. You know what I mean? Like they're like just he maybe second or third in I command here or in the food the chain. The um, but then the way some people, like the way that some people, if you, would you have to go to them, it almost seems like the horsemen are like not really in much of any control. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. And who are you to command a rider? I am a maker, older than even the charred council. These hands have laid the foundations for many worlds, but that was long ago, and now they but hardly know the touch of stone. You know what I also think is kind of cool is like in the subtitles when it has right a certain text that's highlighted, or like, for example, with him it was in purple. I don't know why I like that because, but I just think it's it, those those words or like the terms he's using kind of like stick out to me a lot of times i'm playing the game and i can't remember like the term for this or that or what this person's name was or whatever and um uh, i don't know it just kind of helps it stand out a little bit more okay so yes we get to use our first skill point necromancer or har harbinger harbinger yeah uh i can tell you i'm gonna go with that one dude so let me know what you went with because i'm curious the necromancer seems kind of cool but it also seems like just a lot less useful or a lot less effective Teleport slash. So I'm super confused. Like the purple dots, I understand. It's like the crow. But what does he do? Or what? I don't understand what I do with him. It's very confusing. Anyways, uh. You know what else is confusing is that the, this game doesn't have the same like color scheme as the last one where like green souls or green skulls were health, yellow was uh whatever, your like mana, and blue was your skulls that you actually could spend or your souls that you could spend. And this one you just open it and it's just kind of like nothing, like out pops some coins and some other stuff. And I kinda like the first one better when it com comes to that. I don't know why, but I just thought it was kind of cooler. <clears throat> I'm curious if like each character will have a totally different system, you know what I mean? When Fury comes out, like, will she have, I don't know. Maybe she'll have neon laser beams that come out. I doubt it, but. 
Oh my god. The Tristone. This is so cool. It's like so different from the first one. Oh snap, is this the the forgery? Oh, who's this dude? We got a hair. The Reaper. It's about time you came. The makers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. Tell me that's not the most badass accent ever. Easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. But simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand. A field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? Uh, you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against I wonder how old all people. of these guys are. These Here's guys. That rider, Cause they you mark me as a have to be centuries old. I don't know. I do want to fight him. Oh, you don't literally train. But that one's my favorite. Well, why would you offer it for free? Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. The Harvester Revenge. That's a badass name too. Come up. This is for the Harvesters. The harvesters. Uh. Anyways. Yeah, I feel like these people have to be like centuries old, but I don't know. Oh. What do we have going on here? We've been awaiting your arrival, horseman. Your shadow like she has some huge over this realm. distractions. Many know the Reaper, old one. Distractors. I don't know you. Should say. We are the builders of this world. And she's blind, so we can. But corruption stares we please, heart, dudes. And destroys in days what we shaped over eons. Except. Adar does his best to soothe our I know pain, that she's. She can see us. But our souls yearn she for only one tell comfort. If we're looking or not. Death. We are without hope. There are new talismans for you to break. Oh man, I don't have money for any of that. I'll have to come back when I have real coin. Let's go see what's going on on the other side. And I'm assuming on the third, right in the center, is where we'll be going. Unless we can go there now. But uh, anyways, we'll go check out the other side. The third, I'm sure, is where we'll enter the, the side of the mountain. Restore fire to the mountain. Yo, it looks like the girl from Horizon. Zero Dawn. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. That we accent the is so forge. cool. <laughs> Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge? Nay, the Maker's Damn. Forge is lost to us. Silenced by the hands of corruption, oh. but in its depths we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets. <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the makers. I guess we've all fallen <laughs> from high places. Came <laughs> seeking the tree, and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the stone father's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power, the heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them, and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore oh. our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers. Not warriors, but we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key. And we need our forge to craft yeah, one. that's a lot of steps. Will you help us? I guess that's why nobody's just been, like, doing this all this time. They heard all the steps. And they're like, oh, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like saving the world from corruption. Ooh. Is this like a little life pool? Oh shit. No. It's like... Book. Email from a book. 
I don't understand how that works at all. Like, it looks like a dragon. It is a book. But it is also your inbox. So someone will send me messages through that. Somehow. Interesting. So we're actually not going through the door that I thought, because that door is not going to be unlocked for Arthur, some time, I, I don't think. Find not that way. But oh yeah, I'm aware of that, dude. That's what I'm like trying to fucking do here. Can I ride to the cauldron? Well, if you fancy your corruption waist deep, that's as good a place as any. That's my favorite you know, type of corruption. I'm waist deep in it. If you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then, <laughs> who is friend to death? Ooh. He's right. All right, dudes. Uh, once we get through this door here, we're I'm, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna tease it a little bit, but then we're probably gonna call it an episode because uh, Yeah, that was a lot of backstory in this one. I feel bad. Not a ton of gameplay, but we got a lot of cool backstory And uh, I think it'll set it up for a lot of fun in the future episodes uh, I, I, I'm always like split on whether I should show more story less story whatever uh, But I like I like to see the story so I think it's kind of cool to capture that and I'm very happy to be doing more videos lately so, uh, I think those two things go hand in hand. I'm able to, I'm, d I'm doing more or making the effort to do more videos. And so I have, uh, more opportunity to capture us watching the story unfold together. I don't know if anything I just said made sense. This looks like we've got a puzzle to start us off here. So in just a second, I'm going to sign off dudes. I just want to see what's going on here. Alright, so don't do what I just did, okay? Don't. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> gotcha. Alright dudes, that is where we're going to call it officially. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one. Whoa, whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought I would just like walk up and, and you know, save or whatever. I didn't expect that. Dude, that was like the Eye of Sauron. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you.